This is Nina Curley of WAMDA Media. I'm here in the WAMDA booth at the uh, Global Entrepreneurship Summit chatting with Sharifa Al Barami, the founder of Al Jazeera Technical Solutions and Training, not to be confused with the media outlet, and also the founder of the Oman Entrepreneurs Network. She also is a prolific tweeter at the handle at Oman Entrepreneur without an A. Sharifa, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, pleased to be here. It's great to see the buzz and just to be part of this whole event. I agree. Um, so how did you get inspired to get involved with entrepreneurs in Oman in the first place? Well, I think uh, it started with, with myself, really, because being an entrepreneur and having started my company back in 2007, I went through the mills of setting up a company and, and, and going through the whole startup phase. And since we were already in the training and, and, and kind of coaching and consult, consulting business, I got more involved then with the Cisco Entrepreneur Institute. Uh, so I was hired to set up the Cisco Entrepreneur Institute in Oman. And then I realized, you know what, we can do this. We can uh, really help other entrepreneurs uh, to, to, to just continue and, and, and really flourish and, and, and you know, bring up their companies. And now you want to create a co-working space in Oman, the very first. How is that going? Uh, very well. I mean, I think uh, one thing that I've taken from um, being in the, in, you know, in the startup and in the entrepreneurship uh, ecosystem, uh, you have to have challenges to actually be able to sort of excel and, and make your product or your service much better. So, so it's not easy, but so far I think what we have found is that entrepreneurs in Oman do need a focal point where they can gather, uh, they can collaborate, they can uh, cooperate, uh, as well as just really exchange ideas and a place for them to fail, but fail safe, so that they're not out in the big markets if they fail. They're actually failing within our ecosystem. So, I mean, that's where the idea came from. And we, we just really uh, wanted to set up a co-working space, uh, kind of an accelerator model uh, that will really support entrepreneurs in their ventures, uh, starting from an idea, and they don't even have to have uh, a clear idea of what they want to do. They can just join us, sit and listen to other entrepreneurs and how they're doing it, and other startups and different life cycles of you know of the business itself, and then they will be inspired to to really know where they're they're at, and continue from there. And where is your average entrepreneur in Oman, just in terms of you know, what stage? Are most of them at the idea stage? Who, are the, who is your clientele going to be? Well, uh, we didn't know in the beginning, and uh, we've, we've run a kind of a pilot uh, on the concept with, with the support of a private uh, company. And they gave us, they are the sponsors of what we call is the cell program. The cell program is owned by the Oman Fertilizer Company, Oman uh, India Fertilizer Company. And what they did is uh, they said, we want to, you know, show us the concept, basically. We want to support entrepreneurs and, and help entrepreneurship. Uh, so we found, when we went in, we, we weren't sure who's going to come. And now we realize we have three types of entrepreneurs. Uh, in Oman, we have the research and development stage. We have the startup the ones who are just going to start up and of course we have the expansion uh, so uh, it's I can't even put a number on it yet we I don't think we have enough data from the market uh, to, to really say that the majority of entrepreneurs in Oman are in the research and development or startup or expansion uh, we need we need more time to kind of you know study the market but you have enough entrepreneurs to create a that that self-identify as entrepreneurs and want to scale to to start a to have a competition and have a sort of a beginning of the first class in your accelerator. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, and this this we tested it by doing the Oman Entrepreneurs Network. This is something that started in February, uh, and since then we've been kind of trying to do it every month on a monthly basis. We just open it up uh, on social media platforms. Ask the entrepreneurs to to choose a place. Uh, a coffee shop usually, choose a, a topic and choose a preferred time. And I just do it like through Survey Monkey. Uh, and then that's it, it's set. You just come in, join in, bring your coffee, and we, we talk about entrepreneurship. I think it has developed enough now to, to know that there is demand. I mean, we, every event, we have around 40 to 45 entrepreneurs joining on the spot. I mean, we don't know who's going to show up. Uh, uh, and that shows us that there is demand. And that's, that's enough for us to actually create something solid for them to to, to sort of refer back to and to go back to. Absolutely. And what's the breakdown between men and women? It's 50-50. Uh, surprisingly enough, that's another encouraging thing that we found uh, in every almost every single uh, session or even when we had the um, the cell program, all of the applicants, we had uh, exactly 50% men 
and 50% women, which means that the women are doing it as well. And they, they, they have a lot of great ideas. We've got some fantastic uh, businesses, and I think you're going to interview them tomorrow as well. Beautiful ideas, beautiful startups, uh, encouraging women, women who are really strong and, and sticking to their idea and forging ahead. The same with the guys as well. They're doing very well with their ideas. So it's so nice to be able to see that uh, and be able to be, even if a small part of, of the success stories that are, that are going to be created. Great. Well, maybe we can bring our Wamda Mix and Mentor event there at some point. We're hoping for that, inshallah. We would be delighted to have it. I think it's, it is time to sort of bring in the Oman entrepreneurial uh, scene, back, to, to open it up to the rest of the region uh, and really collaborate with everyone in the region. I think that's what's needed right now for the whole Arab world. And, and I think we heard Sheikh Mohammed as well and, and you know, everyone who was here that we are at a point that we, we really need to create entrepreneurs. We really need to uh, encourage them. And the only way we're going to do that is to open this whole plain and this whole land, the whole region up to each other. And I think WAMDA do a great job of that. They really do. Thanks, Trifal. You certainly help us out with your con contributions from Oman. So thank you for those. Thank you very much. Thanks for chatting with us.